Vaccination provides the best possible protection against COVID-19 infection, severe disease, hospitalization, and death. CDC data continue to show the power of vaccination with recent reports showing a five-fold reduction in the risk of infection, 10-fold reduction in the risk of hospitalization, and 11-fold reduction in the risk of death after vaccination. Yesterday, we took an important first step in our vaccine booster program. As part of the process over the past few days, CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices met to discuss the FDA emergency use authorization of booster doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. They met, as they often have during this pandemic, in a moment of great importance of health to many Americans, analyzing the complex real-time data available to make concrete recommendations. Their task was not easy, and their resulting hours-long discussion reflected the tension of the moment between an individual calculation of risk and benefit and the impact on society. I listened intently to all of it. I heard a diversity of opinions and perspectives, and I applaud the committee's commitment to an open and transparent scientific process. Following their vote, I fully endorsed ACIP, the committee's recommendations that all people 65 and older and those 50 to 64 years old with underlying medical conditions should receive a Pfizer booster shot if they received a Pfizer primary series. I also endorse their recommendation to allow 18 to 49 year olds with underlying medical conditions to receive a Pfizer booster shot. These recommendations will help strengthen protection against severe disease in those populations who are at high risk of severe complications from COVID-19. At the conclusion of the meeting, the advisory committee had a robust discussion about whether boosters should be available for those at high risk of COVID because of occupational or institutional risk. People like healthcare workers, teachers, frontline responders, essential workers, and those in congregate settings. The result of their discussion was a close vote. Had I been in the room and on the committee, I would have voted yes. And that is reflected in my resulting decision to allow the use of Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 booster dose for those 18 and older at high risk of COVID-19 exposure and transmission because of occupational and institutional exposure. As CDC director, it's my job to recognize where our actions can have the greatest impact. In a pandemic, we most often take steps with the intention to do the greatest good, even in an uncertain environment. And that is what I'm doing with these recommendations.